So if you're using Bricks Builder and you're looking to build sales funnels or maybe you're already using Woo Funnels, I finally have some really good news and Woo Funnels and Bricks Builder integrate perfectly now with Woo Funnels. Now, you might be going, but Grant, haven't they always integrated? And really, I was a little bit confused myself because I was having errors, which I'm gonna show you in a second, but then I was seeing people in the Facebook group saying that it was working for them and I was like, okay, well, maybe it's like a plug-in conflict and I never got it really around to fully testing it. But when I did, I was like, no, there's definitely an issue. And so I reached out to the WooFunnels support team and apparently behind the scenes, they worked with the Bricks team to do some integrations and testing. And I have here some Dropbox links and that has a fixed version of the WooFunnels plugin. And I already have the beta version of Bricks installed, but these two um, plugin files here for the free version of WooFunnels and then the add-on for WooFunnels, apparently this has fixed all of the errors. So let's go through and I'm gonna firstly show you what the error I was having trying to build a checkout page in WooFunnels using Bricks Builder, what that error was that I was getting. And then we're gonna go ahead and install these two plugins here, make sure everything's working. And then I'll just quickly go and build a custom checkout page in Bricks Builder for WooCommerce. So I'm gonna try and make this really, really fast paced. The main aim of this video is just to reassure everyone that there is a fix with Bricks Builder and WooFunnels. I'm not sure when it's gonna be released, but hopefully it's not too far off. So firstly, what was the error that I was getting? So in terms of my opt-in pages, so this would be an opt-in page here where I designed this using Bricks Builder. People click here, name, email address, they click this, and then they go to this page here. My opt-in pages were working perfectly. The issue that I was having was strictly related to using Bricks Builder to build my WooCommerce checkout pages using WooFunnels. So it was only WooCommerce related. And just while we're here, if you're not already using WooFunnels, I'm gonna put an affiliate link in the description below. It literally is the best plugin that you can install to your WordPress website to start making money. You have all your ability to build opt-in funnels using it so you can build your email list. You have the ability to design custom checkout pages, one click upsells post purchase, add order bumps to your WooCommerce checkout form. It does a lot of good stuff there. It's basically all about building your business using WordPress. But yeah, I definitely recommend checking it out. So let's go to WooFunnels and then Funnels. And I've made this test funnel here. So if I click into this, you can see we have a checkout step. So if I click into here and then I click switch to the WordPress editor. Here I've swapped it to the default template. So just like I normally would, and then I would go edit with bricks and then it's gonna launch the editor. And then this is what I was seeing. So I'm getting the double admin bar. So it's loading the admin bar within the content area inside bricks. This is pushed down. So if you were getting this as well, please let me know in the comments below. Cause again, I was seeing people on Facebook saying they didn't have this issue, but long story short, this is my error here. I can't go ahead and really build my checkout page like here. I like it's very, I can't click to add elements, basically is not usable right now. So let's go ahead and install those new plugin files from the WooFunnels team. So we're gonna install this and then that. I already have Bricks Beta 1.5 installed on this install. So I'm gonna go back here and we'll go to dashboard and then we'll go to plugins and then add new. And then I'm gonna go upload plugin. So let's go ahead and download these. So you're probably wondering why is there two plugin files? If you're not using WooFunnels, WooFunnels is, I think you call it like a, a freemium style of plugin where you have a free version and then you install a pro version which unlocks more features but you need the free version and the pro installed so that's why we have two different versions here so i'm going to go ahead and just install the free version beta here so i'll click here and then go download and then back here i'm going to drag that into there and click install now and replace current with uploaded the best thing about working on a Friday for yourself is you can have a beer while you film these videos. Of course, that's done. So let's go uh, add new and I'm going to go back and we're going to install the pro beta. So click here, download, and then we'll go upload plugin and then we'll drag that in there and go install. And again, we're going to replace our current with the uploaded, which is obviously a later version. So we'll go replace with uploaded. Okay, now that's done. So let's go ahead and test. So woo funnels, funnels, and then we'll go into our test checkout, checkout out there and then I'm just going to switch to the editor and then edit with bricks. That's going to load. And now it looks like this. So much better. There's no errors here. It looks like it's working here for our checkout page. So this is what that fixes. Now, I don't know when they're going to release that beta version into a real, you know, thing that you can install into your website. Uh, they seem to have fixed that error. And yeah, basically we've just got to wait for them to release it into a stable version. But what I want to do, if you've never used WooFunnels, 
or maybe just curious of how it works, I wanna go ahead now and design a custom WooCommerce checkout page using WooFunnels. This is one of the reasons that you might wanna go ahead and purchase WooFunnels. This is one of the many things that WooFunnels can do for your business. So again, WooFunnels adds one-click upsells and downsells post-purchase. WooFunnels completely replaces ClickFunnels for me and my businesses, so I can do everything that I could do in ClickFunnels here inside uh, WooFunnels. And if you're sort of like a power user of ClickFunnels, you can buy a lifetime deal for I think it's 30 sites to WooFunnels and Autonami, and it's gonna work out basically for the price of one year of ClickFunnels. So it is a lot cheaper and it's actually more powerful. So, so again, I'm gonna leave links to WooFunnels in the description below. If you wanna stick around, let's go ahead and create a custom WooCommerce design. And for the newbies out there that haven't used WooFunnels, you get an idea of sort of how you would use WooFunnels and Bricks Builder to customize your WooCommerce and uh, basically your WooCommerce store. So what we're gonna do now is focus specifically on creating a custom WooCommerce checkout page design. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And then here on the front end, if we click on checkout, this is what my default WooCommerce checkout page looks like currently using the Bricks theme. So it's very basic. I haven't even added padding, but you get the idea. It's a standard WooCommerce checkout form inside the content area of my Bricks website. So let's go ahead and create a custom WooCommerce checkout page design using Bricks Builder and WooFunnels. So first thing that we need to do is add our WooCommerce checkout form into our Bricks Builder design. So if you're not sure how to do that, it's very simple. If we go back to our dashboard and then WooFunnels and Funnels, which takes us to this screen, I'm gonna create a new funnel just so you can see how it works completely from scratch. So we'll click add new and we're gonna call this global checkout and we'll click add. And then we're gonna add a checkout and we're gonna choose this here. It's just a checkout form. If you wanna learn what these other two forms do, I'm gonna be releasing videos uh, coming soon on my YouTube channel. So definitely hang around for them if you wanna see how you'd go and embed a checkout form anywhere on your website and then create sales funnels using Bricks Builder and WooFunnels. But for now, we're gonna do a standard checkout form. So I'll go import and you wanna select other with short code. So we're not using a page builder over here because Bricks Builder is, it doesn't have out of the box templates for WooFunnels. That's why we choose other no short codes. And then here, if we scroll down, you can see we have two short codes. The main one that we wanna look at right now is this one here. Use this short code to embed the checkout form on this page. So that's what we wanna do. So we're gonna click copy and then we're gonna switch to the editor. Now we're in the editor, default template over here and I'm gonna go edit with bricks. So now we're in here, I'm going to add a section and then in here, I'm going to add a short code like that. Then in this short code, I'm going to paste the WooFunnels form short code and click save. Now, if we refresh this page, let's see what happens. So that's gonna load and do we get a preview? Okay, so it doesn't render the form in the builder, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and go preview and then view on front end. And at least we know that it's working. So here's our WooCommerce checkout form. So let's go ahead and go to our shop and then let's add some products to cart. So I'll add a beanie, okay. And then let's go view cart. So here's my cart page. We'll go proceed to checkout. And you can see that our main checkout for our WooCommerce website is still using the design from the Bricks theme. So let's go ahead and make it use our WooFunnels design. So to do that, we go back to our dashboard. So we'll go dashboard and then we go to WooFunnels and then settings and then under checkouts and then under global checkout, the selected checkout page will replace the default WooCommerce checkout page. So here we want to select our new checkout form. So I didn't give it a very good name. So let's actually go back. So checkout form, I'm gonna call this global checkout form design just so we have a bit more meaningful of a name. So I'll click there and then back here, I'm gonna refresh the page and then click here and it's this one here. So I'm gonna click there, set that. And now our WooFunnels checkout design becomes our default WooCommerce checkout page. So if we go back here and we go say back to shop, and we add a product to cart, so this one, then view cart, and then we go down to the checkout. We now have this design that we're building using bricks and roof funnels. So let's go and customize this a bit better. So let's go back into here, and I'm gonna go edit with bricks. And the first thing that I know that I want to do with this is not output the header. Now we have a couple of different options and ways to do that. I could go to settings when editing this checkout, and then I could go to page settings and then general, and I could disable the header, and I could disable the footer here if I want. But then if I go and build other sales funnels, which have their own checkout pages, which is one of the main reasons you would use WooFunnels. And one of the best ways to make money with WordPress these days is build sales funnels. So it's something that I'm always doing. So I don't want to go and do this for every single checkout page that I create. So instead of doing it here locally on this checkout page design and doing it for every checkout page I create, let's go back to here. So we're going to go to the dashboard and let's go to bricks and then templates. And then I'm going to search for my 
header design and edit with bricks. And then here I'm going to go to settings, template settings, conditions, entire website, except for these post types. And here we can actually just add checkout page because that's a post type. So checkout and I could click save. And now if we go back here and click to the checkout and now our header is removed. So again, we want to focus specifically on getting our user to only look at completing the checkout form. We don't want any distractions and move, removing the header is an easy way to make sure that you just streamline your checkout process. Now, if we go down, there's a checkout form. I have this row that I'm probably going to want to remove. I'll show you how I do that in a second. And then we have our footer. I'll keep the footer because it has my terms, conditions, privacy, policy, all that sort of stuff. So let's go ahead and remove this bar. So let's go back here. And then I want to show you how this is set up. So let's go to bricks and then templates. And then let's go down and footer. So let's edit with bricks. So here we have the section for this row here for the opt-in row, get my toolkit. And then we have the footer underneath. So how do we go and show this everywhere on our website, except for our checkout page? If you don't know, I just released a video. If we go here and go to videos and go down, it's this video here, Bricks Builder Conditional Logic. It's a new feature that Bricks Builder just introduced. And I definitely recommend going and watching that video to see how this new um, feature works inside Bricks Builder. But we're going to use that now to conditionally show that template or that row, this one, everywhere except for my checkout page. So the way that we do that using the new feature in Bricks, again, that I explain in this video here, we're going to go back to our dashboard and then in WP Code Box. So this here, WP Code Box, this plugin is where I add all my custom PHP, JavaScript, and CSS. It is incredible. It is so easy to customize your website using this. You can update your CSS and updates live throughout your website as you're writing your CSS. It's like $39 for a lifetime deal. And yeah, basically it's a massive time saver for me. So I'm going to leave a link to WP code box in the description below. But what we want to look for is the conditional logic, which is here. And I'm just going to minimize that. So again, this is a new feature inside Bricks Builder. It's this code here. And I'm going to go through this quite fast again, because I did make that whole separate video where I go through all of this very, very slowly to help uh, you get an understanding really fast of how it works. So I'm just going to go ahead and implement this. So let's go back here. And if I click on this row, we can see that the ID is WP toolkit hyphen opt in, which I'm just going to comment that and uncomment that, which is this. So as it's going and rendering all the different elements inside my bricks templates, if the ID is this WP toolkit hyphen opt in, where back here, that is what it is. W WP toolkit hyphen opt-in. So if it is that element that's trying to be rendered, if it's these post types, don't output it. So return false, don't render it. Else output it, render is true by default, show it on the screen. So all we need to do is add another condition here like this. And I'm gonna go back to my checkout page and I'm just gonna preview this on the front end. And we just need to get the post type. So I'm gonna inspect element here and then have a look for it here. So this is the post type single hyphen that. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste that there. So as Bricks Builder is rendering all the different elements on my screen, if the ID of that element is my toolkit, then if it is the post type, my opt-in pages, my thank you pages for my opt-in pages, or if the post type is a checkout, then return false. Now we might also need to add a condition or is checkout. I'm not quite sure, but I'm just going to, let's just leave this commented out for now. I'm going to save this. So this is just checking the checkout post type inside WooFunnels. So here on the front end, if I click on checkout, this is our checkout page. And if we go down the bottom, it hasn't output it there. Cool. So we don't actually need that, but to be honest, I don't know if that will hurt. Let's just keep it there. In case for whatever reason I was to disable WooFunnels, I still don't want it outputting on my checkout page. So I'll just leave it like that. So that's all good. Here's that checkout page refresh. And that's where we're at now. So let's go ahead and just finish up with this design. So I'm gonna go edit with bricks. Okay, so here we are in the editor. So there's our short code. So let's go ahead and design this checkout page. Actually, what I wanna do instead of rushing it and just making a, a mediocre design, I'm going to stop this video here. And in one of my upcoming videos, we're gonna take one of the out of the box templates that comes with WooFunnels for a checkout page for something like Elementor. And I'm gonna go and recreate that using Bricks Builder. But I wanna make it a whole separate video. It's probably going to be a really long one. This video, again, one topic per video. I've got to try and be better at this. And this one's all about that Bricks Builder
Builder and WooFunnels are going to integrate and fix any errors that you might have been experiencing in one of the next updates. I'm not quite sure when that will be. Maybe reach out to uh, WooFunnels support, see if they can give you the plugin files. And if you want to see me redesign a WooCommerce checkout page using Bricks Builder and WooFunnels, don't forget to subscribe. It's literally going to be one of my next videos. I might even have time to film it today. And if you haven't already, definitely go and watch this new Bricks Builder Conditional Logic video. I'm going to leave it linked in the description below as well. It really is an important feature and I feel like every website will be using this for something at some stage. So on this video now and I'll see you guys in the next one.